What's up, everybody? Uh, it's me again, and I just wanted to take time to make a side note on the. I just made a video, and I'm making another one that has nothing to do with conflict and what I was talking about before. But it was something that's on my mind, and I've been debating on whether or not I was going to talk about this publicly. Uh, so this video is going to cause a lot of problems, uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why? Because I don't care. Uh, and well, when I say I don't care, I'm saying that I simply don't care about what you think. That's all. I'm not saying I don't care. I'm just saying I don't care about what you think. Um, so I was watching Anderson Cooper uh, a couple years, of, well, like last year, the Anderson Cooper show. Um, and it had this mom on the show, and, and, and she was a pretty, you know, she was a pretty big mom. She was a pretty big girl, and her, her, her husband was a pretty big dude. You know, and they were talking about how they had this kid who was, uh, who was, you know, ADD, and, and, and you know, and I, I was digging the story, and, and then, then there was this other mom that was against Ritalin, and it was, the conversation was about Ritalin and, and attention deficit disorder, and, and uh, using drugs on children. And, you know, I, I didn't have a problem with any of that. I'm not saying that ADD doesn't exist. I'm not saying that, that mental disorders don't exist. But what I am saying is that I, I was a little uncomfortable with the scenario with Anderson Cooper, uh, two overweight parents, and uh, a child with a mental disorder or, you know, a chemical imbalance, which is ADD, and, uh, of course, then there was uh, the, the mother who didn't put her child on Ritalin. Uh, the, the, here's the story. So before you think I'm trying to plant thoughts into your head, let me. So there was one group of parents, which were the, the, oh, the, the heavy set parents, the big girl and her uh, husband, who was also overweight. And they were there. They, they had a child who was, they wanted, they basically said had ADD. And there was a mother who decided not to put her child on Ridland, but instead began to uh, homeschool the child and help the child, you know, see life from a productive way uh, with, you know, and, and, and basically what she discovered was that the child had a lot of creative abilities and a lot of energy because the child was so creative and the child went on to write books and do things on ESPN sports and all of this other stuff, right? All right, so here's my point, and it's going to sound like it has nothing to do with any of that. When, when I was watching it, and I was watching it, and I was like, okay, no big deal. Then this thought came to me. Wait a second. You got two out-of-shape parents who want to say that their child has ADD. Possible. I get it, but the problem is, two out of shape parents can they really be trusted with a child that has energy? You know, if if the child wants to run up and down the stairs, like why don't the two out of shape parents take the child for a walk or run? I mean, it's weird to me that a child with energy is considered as ADD. And when, when I think about a child, I'm like. They just got here, like, to planet Earth. They just got to Earth. And we want to diagnose the children with all these mental disorders because they, they're not like us. When being like us ain't everything it's cracked out to be, you know, especially, especially if you're out of shape. So, so if you have two out of shape parents and the children have energy, that's because the children aren't out of shape. They're filled with life filled with energy. They want to learn everything. And, and, and I'm just asking the question, are we doping up our children because they have energy and they, they want to go beyond our budget or they want to go beyond our feelings or what we feel like being able to, like say if we're lazy and, the, and we have children, but we're lazy. It's, is, is it easier to dope up our children and cause them to become zombies to fit our lifestyle or, 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 or is it that our children are a blessing because they have energy, 
because they want to go out and see the world, that should be an inspiration for us to get off of our lazy butts and do something. All right, and, and that wasn't the only part. So then, so there's the, the, the overweight parents who diagnose their child with, who, who got doctors to diagnose their children with ADD, and the child could have ADD, really. He could. He could have ADD. But what I'm saying is, is that it's, you know, we've got to consider before we just say our children are mental or our children are crazy or whatever, what if they're just children and they're in love with life because they just got to planet Earth? And we're so lazy, we've been here so long, that it's easier for us to just dope them up. Right? I'm just saying, what if? Then the other thing that bothered me is Anderson Cooper. And Anderson Cooper and how he has the ability to just, you know, whatever Anderson says is automatically true. And I think Anderson Cooper is a good guy. But what's crazy to me is... Say a, when a child, when, 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 if you're a single person and you have a friend that has a baby and they change the diaper in front of you and it's like, ew, gross, all right? And we all know that, that passing gas is also gross and smelly and it's gross, you know? And then, uh, you know, you know, if somebody used the bathroom on themselves, we'd say that's gross. You know, and we we wouldn't want poop on our finger. So my question then is, why would we listen to a man who can have sex with another man and knowing that's where the poop is and all that stuff and I'm just saying now I know this is going to cause a lot of problems I know people are going to be like oh yeah and roar right back at you <laughs> but my my thing is this this is what's crazy is poop is nasty so for a man to be okay with having sex with another man knowing that's where the the poop and the stuff I'm just saying how is sexual perversion not a mental disorder? So we have Anderson Cooper, who, who was, the, they canceled the show, but Anderson Cooper was the host of this talk show, guiding and inspiring people. But he does a lot of poopy things that are shady on the background. A lot of poopy things. because he, He's, you know, he's a homosexual and he comes up. So I'm just saying, how is it possible that, we will listen to someone that does not know what to do with their penis. But a child with energy has ADD because he has two overweight parents or two lazy parents or two uneducated, uneducated parents. I mean, I'm just saying, how do we not look at sexual perversion as a mental disorder, but, you know, you being emotional is a mental disorder, or you, you know, <laughs> praying is a mental disorder, or you talking to God, or being spiritually aware is a mental disorder. I'm just saying, how, what, what, America, what have we become? I don't know, but I know, man, I know somebody's going to get mad over this video. Share it with friends. That's funny.